Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design and I'm here today with the Flashforge. This is actually a Flashforge Adventurer 3 which is on the paper fantastic 3D printer that I'm super excited to be able to review. All thanks to 3D Prima in Sweden who sent me this machine to try out and yeah say what I think. And they sent an extra box as well so I'm quite interested in seeing what that is. As you can hear my voice is a little bit bad from a cold but uh, I think we should just get going and start unboxing this machine and run it for the first time. This will not be a full review, this will be a unboxing first test, let's see what it's all about. Now the Adventurer 3 is a quite interesting machine, it has a potential to be the replacement of my favorite budget 3D printer, the Flashforge Finder which is long due to be replaced. There's a few things that we wished for and it seems like they have been responded with this machine. Uh, first of all, we're talking about a build volume of 15 by 14 by 14 centimeters. Uh, we have a heated bed, which is super interesting. It's still a PLA printer, but with a heated bed, you get some more opportunities. Also, it has a swappable nozzle. So uh, the flash first finder was notoriously hard to clean out the nozzle, there was a lot uh, going on to get in there. But with this one you should probably just swap it out to take it out and clean it. Uh, so I'm super excited to see about that. But I really can't wait anymore. I think we should just start going on with the unboxing. So we'll, we'll take the small box first. I had to open these for, for shipping. But uh, yeah, I think, I think this was what we expected from Prima. So Prima and Prima Filament, 3D Prima here in Sweden. They have filament packs like this. This is the Easy Print Pack. I think it's a starter pack. It consists of four uh, 500 gram spools. So a few colors. That should be interesting. It's it's called the Value Pack. Very nice, very neat. Uh, so there you can check that out. Has all the ISOs and the ROA, it's uh, reusability and stuff like that. So super fun. Uh, and this here, this is the box. I think I'm gonna need to yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to stand for this, so uh, excuse my relaxed at here. <laughs> Let's see, in the box we get some instruction on how to unpack this. There are some uh, placeholders for, for keeping everything in place during shipping. I'll just remove this whole top here, because we get a power cable. Not that interesting, but it's good that we have it. We get some tools, including some grease, so that's very nice. We also get, wow, that's a tiny spool. Check that out. It looks like a regular spool size, but it's actually quite small inside. 0.3 grams. Okay, cool. This is just some packing material. Let's put that away. What's next? Looks like the machine. Let's see, is there any easy way to pull this out? I think we have one handle. Oh, it's small. Let's move the box away. It's not that big. I thought it would be bigger with this box. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> so we do have a handle on one side, but yeah, oh, that's for the filaments. Cool. Let's move this off. Here we have it. Oh, we have some. Got some rubber feet or something. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's turn it around for you guys. I, I can't really see it from here. We have, we got some packaging, we got a display, we got a window up here, here on the top. We got windows on the sides. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, let's get the tape off. I'm pretty sure. Okay, which tape do I start with? That's always a good question. There's some vented, uh, it's fully enclosed as you can see, so there's, there's actually some vents here below, I don't think there's any... I'm gonna do this before talking. It doesn't look like there's any like filters or anything, but I think that should be fine. Uh, the plastic on the door, let's get that off. All right. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So you see those two green things inside the machine? We need to take those out. We 
Okay, so that's the two green straps loose. Awesome, good shipping. Let's see, can we remove this? I think we have to raise the axle. Okay, so we're going to start it up and yeah, raise the axle and see if we can get this, this bed exposed. Alright, so I have good faith in the 3D Prima and Flash Forks. I'm just going to plug in the power and click on the power button. Alright, it's on. Adventure 3 Flash Forge 3D Printer. That's awesome. Supports Wi Fi USB stick. Supports. <laughs> Supports cloud printing. Uh, build volume 150, 150, 150, it says here, but it says on the website 140, 140, 150. It has a removable heat bed, supports ABS PLA filament, that's nice. It has a detachable extruder and it has a flexible build plate, so getting those prints off should be super easy. Okay, let's see, let's go to settings. I want to do homing. I want to move. I want to move the Z upwards. Oh, this is a nice touch screen. Wow, it's super quiet. Is that enough? Oh, it goes more. I thought I needed to home it. Uh, okay, cool. Whoa, that's, uh, that's a pretty big area for the print. Okay, let's move the, the build plate forward so you can check that out. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to go back, settings, I want to home. Just make sure that all the axles are working. I'm sure there's a manual I should follow. <clears throat> yeah, remove those. We have done that. Quick start guide. Check it out. We have all the tools. We have removed the box. I haven't loaded any filament yet, but we could probably do that as our next step. Ah, that's an easy bed to remove. So we have the heat the bed underneath. And then we have this one, which is actually flexible. Very nice. Let's see, how do we get that back in? Okay, so it's all springy. Ah, that's a little bit, it's a little bit of a weird feeling. Yeah, sure, let's uh, load up some filaments. And it actually has a Bowden extruder, which is quite interesting. But okay, let's go back. Filament, load, heating extruder. Okay, so let's open up the bay here. Let me just move around the camera so you guys can see. Oh wow, the printer is fast. I haven't even gotten time to open the, the filaments. You can see here it has now a Bowden extruder instead of direct drive on the Flashforge Finder. So hopefully that's, that's optimized and should work fine. Okay, let's get the filament out while I'm running behind. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll just load the spool there. We shall push in the filament here. There it goes, it's grabbing. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's grabbing the filament. That's probably fine. Okay, and I should press OK when a new color appears. Maybe I can help it out by pushing down on this spring. I don't know if that works anymore. No, actually it doesn't really work. There's no way to like help here. I can't get my finger in, or can I? Okay, I can get my finger in. Barely, this is not made for Viking fingers. Let's just help the filament forward so we don't have to wait. There, it should go to the extruder. 
And are we seeing color? Yes, we are seeing color being extruded. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Let's click OK. Awesome, let's just close this lid here as well. Ah, very nice. Okay, you know what? It's all loaded. Let's go back. Let's click build. Is there anything on the built-in memory? Here is a PLA box. Was there any SD card in the toolkit? No, there's no SD card. Okay, um, let's go ahead with this box. Uh, let's make it and we'll prepare a file in FlashArt Finder really quickly. Okay, so obviously the first thing we need to do in a fresh flash print installation is to choose the Adventurer 3. And if you're wondering what I'm printing first, obviously it will be a 3D Banshee. Just to see how everything's working out. Says repair model, mm, not so sure we need to do that actually. Cool, so we have this model over here. All we really need to do is to click print. Let's make sure we have the right material. PLA supports, no thank you. Raft, no thank you. Resolution, standard, why not? That should be 0.2, roughly 0.2. We can check out the advanced settings here, or more options. Infill, hexagon, 15%, probably a little bit too much. Let's go with 10. Speed looks good, temperatures, mm, we have the platform, nice. That should all be fine. Let's save this on a GX file, which we'll put on a USB stick. Actually, let's put in a USB stick. There we go. Slicing is done. And check out the code. Should take one hour, three meters of filament. Code looks good. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's take out this first, extremely impressive first ever print. Well, it looks good. And it can be torn off quite easily. It's actually sticking fairly well. Let me see. Like so, build complete there. Let's go ahead and take our USB memory. Let's plug it in. Let's go ahead and navigate back to where we want to print. Let's go ahead and build, click USB memory, second page, 3D Benchy, 1 hour 60 minutes, let's go. It's copying the file, so I should in theory be able to take out the memory card, but let's, let's just print. That is the Benchy ready. It took one hour, 60 minutes, 3.7 meters filament. Let's open it up. Pull out the print plate. Ah, it pops right off. <laughs> that looks really good. Let's check out the uh, print finish. This is the Flashforge PLA, but uh, yeah, there's some. That's a really, really nice finish. I'll, I'll uh, get some close ups of this. But I think we should wait with the rest of this video for the review. So let's just shut this down. All right, so that's the first print, the unboxing, the first print, setting uh, everything up. Super simple, really, really impressive. But I think I should hold my thoughts into the review. So make sure you subscribe and uh, like this video and let me know if you have any types of tests you want me to do with this printer. And I'll make sure to incorporate that into the review. And of course, make sure you subscribe down there, ring the bell button, and you'll be notified when the review is up. Uh, so with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you with this.